right guys it's sleep grandma here with you I hope you had a great day um, if you like my videos please give them a thumbs up and a like and some comments if you like what are you talking to? <laughs> since my friend passed away last week I've been very much in despair and I looked up the word despair and it says that you're um, completely hopeless. And that's the way I feel right now. I really feel like, um, I don't know, you know, I was finally in a good place where I was, um, you know, just had a lot of things going on. I was really excited about my videos. I was really excited about my book. And all of a sudden, I feel like somebody just blew a big you know, hole in my sails. My, I was sailing along and they blew a big hole in my sails. Now, I know you say that sounds selfish because my friend lost her life. Well, of course, I don't mean that, um, that I have it worse than she did. Please don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that, um, that I know she's in a better place. And I know that, you know, knowing the kind of person that Carrie was, I'm sure she was more concerned about us by her leaving than she was about herself because that's the kind of person she was you know um I'm just trying to say that she was such a good person and that's why I miss her so much that I feel like I'm in despair right now I I don't want to seek in complete depression because um it took me a long time to get out of that so I'm trying to put a brave face because that's what my friend did, you know, that's what Carrie did. And um, I really want to, I know she would want me to be happy, so I'm trying, but it's hard when you lose a friend, you know, especially when you know that person was very special. And um, I'm not going to act like it's easy, you know. And I'm not going to act like she wasn't here, because she was. And I'm not going to act like I'm not sad about it, because I am. And I'm not going to act like I'm one of those, you know, really strong people that just, you well, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, buddy, kind of person, because I'm not. I'm very touchy-feely. I'm very, um, very emotional, so it is what it is. You know, sometimes when someone passes away... Um, people stop talking about them completely like they never existed and I think that's very sad because um, they were here and they did make a difference in our life and they left a legacy and I I think we should talk about it you know I'm I don't talk about my nephew a lot because it makes us sad but um but yeah they were here and I love them very much so I will will talk about her and I will let the world know that I represent my friend. I hope you guys made it a good day today. Um, I tried very hard. I'm babysitting right now. This little fella, he's very sweet. And uh, I really enjoy children. They're just wonderful. I, I don't know how people ever hurt children. I just uh, makes me very sad because they're very trusting, very vulnerable to poor little things. But um. I had a good day. I've been sleeping a lot. I've been trying to give myself space to heal. And um, I've been praying for my friend. I know that she's with our Heavenly Father. I know that. Um, and I've also been worried about my friend, Sue, who's um, going through the same thing I am. Because um, we both loved her and we both were. You know, Sue was a lot closer to her lately because she was really going through it with her. So I'm worried about her, too. I know she has great faith, so I believe she'll be okay. But still, it's, it's not easy. So um, I just wanted to share that with you, that um, grieving is not easy. And it comes in stages, and you just have to ride with the waves of it and it's just um, one of those things that you can't really 
control. It comes when it comes, and uh, and it is what it is. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, are making it a great day, and um, you know, I'm trying to get myself motivated again. I'm trying to get back into my uh, the swing of things, but uh, it's just been, I don't know, it's just been like, ugh. You know, I start getting all these negative thoughts about, you know, how worthless life is and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, I don't like that. I try to keep out of my head when those negative thoughts come because, you know, it's just, it's just negative talk. That's all it is. And, you know, we are what we think. So what we think is very important and um, we have to be careful what, what thoughts come into our head, you know. So... Um, I'm working on staying positive. I'm keeping busy, but I'm not keeping busy in the sense that I'm running away from the grief. I'm not running away from it. I know I have to deal with it. Um, if you don't deal with the grief, the grief will deal with you. And, you know, I really believe that. And I've seen it in other people. So I need to really deal with this grief or it will deal with me. And, um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Work it out in a positive way, and uh, I'm not going to run from it. So, um, if you're hopeless right now, please know that things change. And change is good. Change is not always scary. Change is good. Change can bring good things. It depends on us. I plan to step up my writing and walking and um, just change up a couple of things because um, that's what I need to do. I need to, I need to change up some stuff because <laughs> when I start getting into my routines get too boring and too monotonous, I cannot, I start to get depressed and bored. So I, I'll change up some stuff. It'll work out. I just have to stick with it and I have to um, keep in tune with what's going on inside of me and um, know that, uh, but you know, change is good. A lot of people are afraid of change. I don't know why. I'm not afraid of change. I think it's good because I've always th seen something come good out of it. Even if a bad thing happens, um, good things come out of bad things that happen. So... Guys, um, stay grateful for the little things and um, stay grateful for the good people that are around you, the, the positive people that are around you, and um, make sure you tell the people that you love that you love them today for no reason at all, just because you do. Give them a hug. And um, the human touch is a very powerful thing, so I really recommend it. Much love, guys, and um, take care. Talk to you soon.